What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers. Welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future reads. This is free general collective reading. Caps to Sagittarius, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, this daily tea is a little different than my other readings. It's a more general current pulling of the energy. It's supposed to resonate 24 to 72 hours out from the time that you view it. However, everyone's on a different time in life path. So for some of you guys, it could resonate outside the 72 hour time frame. Just saying. Okay, so I received a channeling in about twins. Uh, somebody about to find out their partner's pregnant with twins. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, you plug it in how it resonates. Just saying. Uh, there's a little more to it. I'll share it. But I did a promotion video uh, for the Time Oracle. She did a reading this morning. It's freaking awesome. Fantastic. Just saying. This will probably be the only reading I do today. I wasn't even planning on doing this one. So just letting you guys know. Okay. Love you guys. I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. We're at 11,358 subscribers right now. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys. From the bottom of my heart chakra, a single mama of two kids. So it helps support a single mama's income stream. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. Okay, so the channeling I received was um, uh, so, uh, someone is about to find out. Some, their baby mama, some, their spouse is pregnant with twins. Um, some, they're going to be very, very happy about this. Some, they're not because the ones that are not happy, it is... Um, it was a very um, open relationship that they um, that they were in with this person, and they were not basically um, planning on being with this person long term. So um, this could be you about to find this out, or somebody you're connected to. But somebody in the universe, it's a, some it's married partners. So some it's married partners. So I'm assuming they planned on the pregnancy, and they're about to find out they're pregnant with twins. And congrats, whoever that's for. That's really beautiful energy right there. I mean, this sounds like it was planned, like it was wanted, like um, it sounds like the children are really going to go in a very happy, healthy, stable environment. So congrats, whoever that's for. I feel a lot of happiness around that. But it's like yin and yang energy because the other energy is, uh, and this could be you or somebody you're connected to, but it's somebody that was in an open S type relationship, like a very non-committal, just dating around, not serious about this person energy. Um, this is what I'm feeling here. And then um, they're about to find out they're pregnant, uh, this person's pregnant with twins. So they might have already known this person was pregnant for some of them. And for some, they might not have known. And then they find out and then boom, it's two kids instead of one. Like double whammy energy. Um, so you really have to put the messages in how they resonate, but it's like yin and yang energy here. Some of these situations are going to be very, very happy. I feel the married, stable, grounded, dependent, um, dependable planning energy there. And then the just was dating, 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 probably maybe for some booty or maybe just codependency or I'm not sure. Um, and then boom, found out they're pregnant and then boom, found out there's two kids instead of one. Um, that's what I'm feeling, but, um, you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates, um, for whoever spirit messages you have reflected, very interesting, very interesting, twin energy strong in here, yeah, we've got concern, oh my gosh, and coffin on the bottom of the deck, number 33 or 19 could be very significant numbers in one's life, 33 or 19, it could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, Possible green card number, possible jersey number, um, 3319, concerning Paulson. Some of these married couples are very happy, a lot of wealth here. Some are worried about finances, but happy. And the non-committal relationship energy, they really, really know, the masculine energy really, really knows they screwed up with the partner. They are very, very non-committal. They are worried about this dynamic. 
they know it's about money. Water sign energy, masculine energy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Okay, so there's two dynamics. So there's a stable, grounded, dependable, reliable, married situation over here. Congrats to you guys, whoever you guys are. Um, some of you guys, you have plenty of wealth already built up. So you've already established yourself, generational wealth over here. I mean, it sounds like there's no worries in the financial department. I mean, you're good. You're good as gravy. It sounds like you're playing this. Good for you. Kudos. Um, so I feel concerned reverse there for that situation. Now for the other married situation in this group over here, worried about money. Worried about money because there's two mouths to feed now instead of one. And I get that. Um, but still happy. So concerned about finances in this aspect. Not concerned about your partner going out and running around on you or bickering or arguing or fighting or in the relationship or what have you. Um, happiness except for money. So just concerned about money basically. Concerned about money over here. And that's still good energy. The other situation, ah, yikes, um, the very non-committal relationship, and I heard water sign masculine energy that's concerned here. So if this resonates for you, you're a water sign masculine that apparently has impregnated somebody you either casually dated or was in an open relationship with or something of that nature, you're about to find out they're pregnant with twins or you just have, um, however that resonates, but it was never a committed as type relationship for a lot of you water sign masculines. I feel you didn't even think you were going to date this person very long. Maybe you were just codependent in the relationship until you failed somebody else. I heard you know that they basically are non-committal too. So it sounds like you both are non-committal. Um, and you're worried because now this is going to be a mother of your, well, children, because it's going to at least be two. <laughs> um, I heard twins, so two. Uh, kids. This is going to be a mother of your child. Um, and th some that could have masculine and femme parts, but they definitely have femme parts. Definitely a B for sure. Um, and you're worried because you know they're basically the same as you. Very non-committal, very open, sleep around, do whatever and whatever. So you're concerned about that because now you're about to bring children into this universe with this person and the co-parenting sounds like it's about to be terrible. Um, basically. Um, I didn't hear that it was going to be, but I feel that energy with this situation um, is what I'm trying to say. So you water sign masculine, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, Jupiter charts. I feel you're worried about the situation because for some, you could have just found out the, uh, this person's pregnant with twins. For some, you're about to. But you're concerned because you know how your, this person is. You know how you are. You know how the relationship dynamic was or is. And... Now, you're kind of like stuck like Chuck in it as far as co-parenting down the line, basically. Um, so you're very concerned. And yeah, I get it. But that's the choices that was made here. So, I mean, it's kind of what is going on, basically. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. You could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midhammer, Jupiter, charge. You are masculine energy if this resonates for you. Some kind of twin energy, whether you have, for some, you might have just found out, for some, you're about to find out, but woo, that's a, that's a complicated situation right there. But the other situation, congrats to whoever that's for, it's just like money issues over here. And, you know, everybody has, everybody worries about money from time to time, unless you're just a daggum, uh, unless you're like Elon Musk or something like that. Okay. Coffin. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. But I did hear over here, too, that you, mass, water sign, masculine energy, whoever you are, I feel you're the breadwinner in this. I'm telling you this because I heard um, it was about, you knew it was about money. Um, you're very worried in this. I feel you're about to put a death to the relationship or you know, maybe for some water sign masculines, you were trying to convince this person to get an abortion or they were threatening to get an abortion because we have the coffin card. Um, but if you're the breadwinner, I'm, I'm sure a lot of them won't because they know they're going to get good ass child support from you. 
especially if you make good ass money. And that's just the truth. So for some, you might have tried to convince this person to get an abortion with the death card personally, uh, po not personally, possibly. Um, that's what I'm feeling for some. Because uh, I feel you're the breadwinner. You make the money. It was just obviously for sex. Um, for a lot of you guys, I'm feeling. Or for partying or to have somebody or whatever. Um, but I feel for some, you try to convince them to get an abortion. And they didn't do it. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, but why, But in all seriousness, why would they do it? Well, they know you're making good ass money. I mean, and I'm serious about that. You know, but I didn't hear abortion in here. That's just what I'm feeling with the death card. Uh, but you plug it in how it resonates. <clears throat> for the other situation with the concern of the death card, I feel maybe for some you're going to build up your fine. One, you're good as gravy. You're not worried. Um, you have the money. You have the financial backing. You have the generational wealth. You have it over here. Uh, one situation, one married couple. You have it. So the there's an end to concern because you know you have the generational world well whether it's trust fund baby energy or you've worked your whole life for it you have the financial backing to support these children basically and you're very happy about it so end to concern the other situation where you're concerned about money there might be an end to um concern about money soon because maybe you form a new income stream or maybe you receive a large lump sum of money or somehow you save up your money or you sell an item or something to where it ends your concern about money if you resonate in this category. I didn't hear signs over here, but over here there's a water sign masculine very, very concerned about this situation. Um, and I feel this might be convincing of abortion energy over here, but you plug it in how it resonates. That's what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. For some, you could be dealing with Scorpio because it's Scorpionic energy in this deck. Because uh, the death card in the right away is Scorpionic energy. If you are, they could have Scorpio and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, Midham, or Jupiter. Whether it's your partner or whether you're a Scorpio or you're dealing with Scorpio, possibly. They could have Scorpio and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, Midham, or Jupiter charts. Let me see if I hear anything else. A particular masculine energy in this situation is about to lose his job soon because of abuse of a family in the past. Okay, I heard a particular masculine energy in this situation is about to lose his jo uh, job soon because of abuse of family in the past. So I'm feeling that's good in this situation. This is, I would not want to be in this situation. This is, yikes. Um, I don't feel it's these two. I'll tell you that. I do not feel it's these two. These are very stable, grounded, reliable, dependable situations over here. I feel it's over here. This energetic space is a hot mess express. I heard this, um, one of the masculine energies over here. So it might be one of these water signs or it might be another sign like fire, earth, or um, air. I heard they're about to lose their job uh, because of abuse of a family of, a pa of the past. So that could be concern of end of termination. That could be concern of termination. It's a masculine energy. I think it's a masculine energy that knocked up this person that's about to find out they're pregnant with twins or about to find out they're pregnant with twins, possibly. So there will be concern over no income stream. Um, maybe a primary income stream, maybe a secondary income stream. Um, because of some kind of abuse of family of, of a family of the past. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So um you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I didn't. 
I did. All right, you guys. Well, short but sweet today. Love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.